Gen friends, I'm Major Gauravari and you're watching the channel. Do not mistake our decency for weakness. It's not weakness. And we know how to give it back far better than we got. So, take a step back, breathe. And I was not here to support the Taliban. Nobody supports the Taliban or their actions. I want to tell you a few things, you know, what is wrong with the United States. You've interfered too much. Gen friends, I'm Major Gauravari and you're watching the Chanakya Dialogues English. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. You know, Amrit Pal Singh has surrendered. I'm sure all of you have heard about this news. It's spread like wildfire. He surrendered at the Moga police station or at one police station somewhere in Moga. He gave himself up. <clears throat> this, uh, I'm not saying this on the lighter side. I actually mean it. I mean, if he surrendered, if Amrit Pal Singh surrendered, uh, he has been taught well by the Pakistanis because this is exactly what the Pakistanis do at the first sign of trouble, surrender. Like they surrendered in 1971. Anyway, the thing here is that his wife was caught trying to escape from the country. She was taking a flight to London. She's apparently a UK citizen. This is what I've been saying all along and got a lot of brickbats for it too. But this strategy will always pay dividends. You know, I've said it in the past. I've said it in the Chanakya Dialogues Hindi. I've said it in English. Whether a Khalistani is staying in UK, Canada, Australia, US, whichever country, maybe he's born there. It doesn't matter. You know, he is going to uh, get under pressure if something happens here in Punjab. Because Punjab, Indian Punjab is the place where they want to create this so-called Khalistan. If you cut them off from Indian Punjab, this whole Khalistan circus will die a natural death. You know, all these people who were protesting outside the uh, Indian High Commission in London, many of them were found to be having Indian passports, which means that they went there on a visa. Long or short term, they went to UK on a visa. Now, those people will be extradited back to India. They'll be sent back to India and they will face significant jail time. They're gone. And this is what should be done with Khalistanis. Now, uh, you know, Khalistanis have been at it for a long time now. They've been at it for a long time and the Indian state never responded. Now the Indian state has started responding. So you know what kind of results you'll get. You stop Amrit Pal Singh's wife, Amrit Pal Singh will surrender within 36 hours. That's going to happen. All the Khalistanis, their pressure points are in India. This is what I was trying to say. You know, uh, my comments on uh, Sidhu Musewala and my comments on uh, Lawrence Bishnoi became very controversial. And I'd like to make further comments. And if it becomes more controversial, so be it. I don't care. About Sidhu, Sidhu Musewala, uh, you know, people said that Sidhu Musewala's father fought in the Kargil War. And, uh, you know, you have insulted his son. Yes, I have insulted his son. My full respect for the Kargil veteran. I salute Sidhu Musewala's father. But Sidhu Musewala himself was a Khalistani. His lyrics were anti-national. They were anti-India. I'm not saying he should have been killed because nobody should uh, die such a brutal death. Nobody deserves such a brutal death. And uh, whatever should have been done to him should have been done in the court of law not outside the court of law. However, having said that, let me tell you something. Just because somebody's father is in the army does not mean that the respect passes down naturally, you know, as a matter of birthright to his son. It doesn't happen like that. Every individual has to earn his own respect, has to earn his own honor or her own honor. This whole thing about, you know, I belong to this family and therefore you should... Uh, you know, honor me and you should respect me because my grandfather was so and so, my grandmother was so and so, you know, my mother is so and so, my father is so and so. These things don't matter actually. What matters is you, your contributions, your achievements. What have you done in life? 
Sidhu Musewala was not a patriot. I never liked Sidhu Musewala. I don't like him today. Having said that, uh, nothing justifies a brutal death, should not have been done. But all those people who are saying that I should, Major Gauravarya should honor Sidhu Musewala simply because his father fought in the Kargil War. A thousand salutes to his father, all the respect to his father, zero respect to Sidhu Musewala. Got it? Khalistanis? Get lost. Now, about Pakistanis, you know, trying to uh, uh, report my videos, my YouTube videos, it doesn't matter. See, Pakistanis, you can keep on reporting my videos. It does not matter to me. It does not matter to me. I am the mirror that God sent so that you could see your souls and your faces. I am that mirror. And I will continue doing my job as a mirror for the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. All your dirty deeds are going to be exposed by me. You like it, fine. You don't like it, that's your wish. But even if you Pakistanis, even when I am humiliating your top brass, I'm not, when I say Pakistanis, I don't mean the 23 crore Pakistanis. I mean their leaders, the leaders of Pakistan. If I'm insulting your leaders, if I'm humiliating your leaders, and if you want your leaders to be further humiliated, please subscribe to my channel because I will keep on insulting them. I'll keep on exposing them. I'll keep on humiliating them on this channel. And if you want to see your top brass humiliated, there is nobody who can do it better than Major Gauravarya. I have a triple PhD in this. All right. So subscribe. Anyway, now I have said this before and even about Lawrence Bishno, you know, my comments became very controversial. Oh, oh, oh. Major is supporting Lawrence Bishnoi. Major is calling Lawrence Bishnoi a hero. Lawrence Bishnoi is a criminal, yeah, he's not a hero. And Lawrence Bishnoi has been uh, in contact with so many Khalistanis. He's in jail because he's a criminal. But you're scared of Lawrence Bishnoi. That is what I said yesterday. That is what I'm saying today. And that is what I'm going to say tomorrow. Khalistanis are dead scared of Lawrence Bishnoi. That's it. I never called Lawrence Bishnoi. How, how can a criminal be a hero? He's not a hero, he's a criminal. He's in jail because he deserves it. He's been put in jail by the courts. So how can a person who's in jail for murder, extortion and other crimes be a hero? No, he's not. He's far from a hero, very, very far from a hero. But yes, nobody scares the Khalistanis more than him. Let that be amply clear. Now, coming back to the other news of the day, uh, you know, uh, the Chinese defense minister and the Russian defense minister, they are coming to India and I have the news right here. Let me read it. Uh, so General Li Shangfu, that's the guy's name. He's the Chinese defense minister, Li Shangfu. Don't forget this name, write it down somewhere. Uh, he's going to come and Russian defense minister Sergei Shoigu. This guy also has a Chinese name. Yeah? The Russian guy also is called Shoigu and he's Shangfu. Shoigu and Shangfu. Shangfu is the Chinese guy and Shoigu is the Russian guy. They can't be brothers. No, no, no. Anyway. So they are coming. On April 27th and 28th, they are having these defense ministers meeting in, in India. And both these guys will be coming, both these defense ministers. And they're going to be, you know, they're going to be so many pacts amongst countries. And this is the platform where India must take up the issue of the line of actual control, you know. For many, many years, we have been telling the Chinese, all right, okay, let's sit down, let's decide, let us turn the line of actual control into an international border. But you know the problem with China, China has always refused. China is saying, no, we don't want this to turn into a permanent border because China covets Ladakh. China wants the entire Arunachal Pradesh. China wants everything. And the problem is, China should be afraid of the day when India says that we want everything. Do not mistake our decency for weakness. It's not weakness. And we know how to give it back far better than we got. So take a step back, breathe. And I would advise the Chinese government for all my advice is worth that you're coming to India, welcome to India and sort out these problems. If you want to turn the line of actual control into the line of control and people in the forge know what I'm talking about. If you want to turn the line of actual control into the line of control, well, it's just going to push back your economic uh, progress, it's going to push back our economic progress, but we are used to it. China is not used to a volatile border. For many, many decades, many, many decades, China has been 
seeing relative peace. We have been seeing action along the line of control. We have seen so many wars. We are used to this. You are not used to this. You know, if you want the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force to defend the line of actual control by violence, they will be happy to do it. It doesn't serve your purpose, it doesn't serve our purpose. But then if you make things impossible for India, then India will have to act. You are forcing India to act, you are forcing our hand. Don't do that, don't do that because, you know, we are used to the line of control. We are used to the line of actual control, you are not. Coming back to the next news. Now, uh, 336 Arunachal border villages to get 4G mobile network. Uh, 254 towers set up. So, there are some uh, villages which are in the higher altitudes, you know, above 9000. There are so many villages, hundreds of them. And in those villages, you have only 3G, you don't have 4G. Now, what the government has done is uh, approved monies that all across the line of actual control, you have 4G. It's very important. It is from a national security perspective, from a defense and armed forces perspective, and from a civilian perspective. It's, this should have been done long back, actually. This should have been done long back, but anyway, it does not matter. Now, we are going to have 4G connectivity there. And I think one of the reasons, there are many reasons, of course, public welfare is one reason, development of the village is one reason, but I think another reason is also live streaming. You know, you can put up technology there by using 4G, you can put up technology there so that you can track the Chinese better. And the US to issue more than 1 million visas to Indians in 2023. The United States of America says that in 2023, yani this year, US forcefully rejects talks on Taliban's recognition. And uh, you know, Senator Jim Risch, I don't know how to pronounce his name, a ranking member of the US Senate Foreign Relations Committee, not only rejected the suggestion, but also criticized the United Nations. The UN needs a wake up call. Any talk of recognition of the Taliban is absolutely absurd. This murderous regime continues to deny women the ability to work or to go to school while millions of Afghans are in dire humanitarian need. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am not here to support the Taliban. I am not here to support the Taliban. Nobody supports the Taliban or their actions. I want to tell you a few things, you know, what is wrong with the United States. You interfere too much. You interfere too much in everybody's affairs, which is why today China is able to move faster than you. China is taking pole position. China is the one who actually uh, got that deal between Iran and Saudi done. Now China is talking about, uh, you know, peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians. It is China who is doing all this, not United States of America. You are losing your leadership position because you get stuck in so much nonsense, which is unnecessary. Have you ever seen China talk to the Taliban about rights of their people? China doesn't care about rights of anybody. They don't care about the rights of their own people. Forget Afghans. What right do the Chinese have? The Chinese are very focused. I'm not saying that is the right approach. I'm not saying that the Chinese approach is the correct approach. All I'm saying is that don't get too involved in so many things. Be very clear. If you want to make America great again, right, you have to do good to the world. You keep on preaching, you keep on lecturing to the other countries, it doesn't happen that way. And America is slowly and slowly, America is still the world's top superpower. There is no denying that. I cannot deny it, neither can anybody. It is the top superpower, but you are very fast losing that spot. It is becoming a multipolar world. China is pulling on one direction, India is pulling in the other direction, Russia is pulling in the other direction. There are 18 countries today that were doing their business in dollars. They are now doing their business in Indian rupees. They don't need dollars. What do they need dollars for? Why, why, why should they need dollars at all? Whatever they need, either China will give them or India will give them. And these are, these are rich countries, these are poor countries, these are first world countries, these are second world countries, third world countries, developing, developed, underdeveloped, doesn't matter. And more and more countries, they are saying that by the end of 2025, next, next uh, two years, they are saying that more than 40 countries all over the world will accept Indian currency. You can go and buy, you can, with the Indian rupee, you can buy stuff there. Why would they require the US dollar? Or at least the, the, the value of the US dollar will go down. So this is something that America needs to consider, you know, all this moral preaching that you guys do. It's getting you nowhere. 
I think we should focus on projecting American power, both economic, military, uh, and also diplomatic, by the way. It's very important. Do good to the world, help the people, stop attacking other countries, and stop preaching, most of all. I, th I think more irritating than American bombs and missiles are those sanctimonious words which come out of Congress. Nobody likes them. Nobody likes, no country likes being talked down to. And I think this is something that America needs to stop as of yesterday. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, press like, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Chahind, Bande Matram, Bharat